Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Ginny Guide. In today's guide video, we are going to learn how we can use the Discord Hangout application on our mobile device as a complete beginner. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also make sure you turn on the bell notifications. And without any further ado, let us get started. Now before we get started with the video, we are going to learn what Discord application is. If you don't know what Discord is, then Discord is a free voice, video and text chat app that is used by so many people around the world today to talk and hang out with their communities and friends. So the first thing in order to use Discord is that we want to make sure we have actually downloaded and installed the Discord application to our device. If we have not yet downloaded the application, what you want to do is simply open your app store if you are on your iOS device and if you are on your Android then you want to simply open your Google Play Store. Once you do that, depending on whichever app store you have, at the top of the screen you will be able to find the search button. Simply tap on the search button and then tap in Discord. Once you type in Discord, you can see the first application which comes up on the list is called Discord, Chat, Talk and Hangout. Now if you are on your Android device, you will see a green install button in order to download this application. And if you are on your iOS device, then you will have to click or tap on the cloud like icon and verify the download using your Apple ID password or whichever security methods you have installed on your device. So once we have downloaded and installed the Discord application to our phone, we are going to move on to the next step which is to log in or sign up or create an account on the Discord application. So to do that, what we want to do is simply open the Discord application right from our device right over here. As you open the application at the bottom of the screen, you have been given two options which says to either register or log in. And if you don't have an account and you want to simply tap on register, enter your phone number or email, you will need either one of those to create an account on Discord. So go ahead, type in your phone number or your email, tap on next and follow all of the instructions accordingly and you will have easily created an account on Discord application. Those of you who already do have an account, we want to simply go ahead and tap on login at the bottom of the screen. Once you tap on login, you want to go ahead and enter your email address as well as your password. Once you log into your Discord application, you can see that this is how the home interface of the Discord application looks like. The first thing we are definitely going to learn is that which is the most important aspect of the Discord application is to actually be a member but before that you will have to create your own server. I will teach you how you can create your own server on a Discord application. So in order to create your own server as in my case I already have multiple servers on which I am already the administrator of the server but in your case if you want to create a new server then on the left hand side of the screen you will be able to see this plus button right over here. When you simply tap on the plus button at the top of the screen it says create your server your server is where you and your friends hang out make yours and start talking so what we want to do is simply tap on the create my own button right over here once you tap on create my own you can see you can whether you want to choose a private server or a public server such as for your friends and your family or for a club or community you can simply skip this at the bottom of the screen as well and you can add a name to your server and then also upload a profile picture and then you can go ahead and tap on create server and the server will be automatically and successfully created on your discord account or your discord application so once we have learned how to create a server, we are going to learn how to invite people to be a member on our server. For example, let's say I have a server right over here and I want to invite people to my server. Once you tap on the server name on the left hand side, at the top of the screen you will be able to find the option called invite members. So what we want to do is we want to simply tap on invite members button right over here and at the bottom of the screen you will be able to find the invitation link. Now you can also set this link to never expire by simply tapping on this icon. Once you do that this discord link is going to forever remain and anybody who ever clicks on this link and tries to log in will be automatically invited to your server right over here or instead of that you can also directly invite people to your server by simply tapping on the screen invite button right over here and once you do that you can also send this link at the bottom of the screen by simply tapping on share link and go ahead and share this link to your friends and the community or whoever you want 
to be a part of your server. Once we have learned how to create a server as well as we have also invited some of the people to our server. Now the next step is to how to add roles to server members. For example, let's say you want to assign a certain role to people on your server. What we want to do is we want to simply tap and again our server name right at the left hand side. Once you do that at the top of the screen you'll be able to see your server name. Simply tap on it and then here what we want to do is we want to go to settings at the bottom. Once we go to settings, you want to scroll down and at the bottom of the screen under the user management section, you will be able to find the option called roles. So what we want to do is we want to simply tap on roles right over here. As you type on roles, you can see what it says over here, use roles to organize your server members and customize their permissions. You can assign roles in the members page. So to do that, we are going to simply tap on members right over here. And you can select a member to whom you want to add a certain role to. Once you do that, you can add a role, what kind of permission and authority you want this person to have on a Discord server. So we have learned how to create a server, how to invite people to our server, how to add roles to server members on our Discord server. The next thing we are going to learn is how you can yourself join another server with Link. So to do that, what we want to do is on the left hand, simply tap on the plus button as we did. Now instead of creating our own server, we are trying to join an already made server. So to do that, at the bottom of the screen, you can see an option called have an invite already, join a friend on Discord. So you want to simply tap on join a friend on Discord right at the bottom. In order to join a server, you must remember that you need to have the invitation link. So you want to simply go ahead and tap invitation link and you can go ahead and become a member of that server. Or if you don't, then you can simply tap on I don't have one at the bottom of the screen and you can follow all of the instructions. In that way, you can really easily join a server with or without the link to a certain server on the Discord application. So we have learned some of the most basic functions. Now the next thing we are going to learn is how you can accept friend requests whichever you have received on the Discord account. To do that at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see this friend icon or the people icon right at the left hand side. You want to simply tap on this icon once you do that it will show you a list of people who have actually sent a friend request. So if you want to accept this friend request you can simply tap on it and at the bottom you can either choose to ignore or you can either choose to accept this friend request, this person will be able to personally chat, text and talk to you once you accept their friend request. The next thing we are going to learn is how we can add an about section to our Discord profile. To do that, at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you will be able to see your Discord profile picture. You want to simply tap on a Discord profile picture and at the third option at the top of the screen, you want to select user profile settings. So we want to go to simply user profile settings and here you can see tab to add an about me. This is like a simple bio or a simple short introduction of yourself in the Discord application. Once you do that, you can go ahead and save it and the about me or the about introduction of yourself will be automatically added to your Discord profile. Now the next thing we are going to learn is actually how we can redeem Nitro code or Nitro Game Pass code on the Discord mobile application. To do that, what we want to do is we want to simply go back and then at the bottom right hand side of the screen, we want to simply tap on our icon again. Here you will be able to see under the Nitro settings the option called Nitro Gifting right at the bottom of the screen. We want to simply tap on Nitro Gifting right over here. Once you tap on Nitro Gifting, here at the top of the screen you will be able to find the option called Redeem Code which says receive a code for Nitro or game that's exciting and to a You need to go ahead and simply type in all of the legend numbers as well as keywords, symbols and keys properly so that you will have successfully redeemed the code. If not, then you will not be able to redeem the code. So make sure that you have entered all of the details correctly and simply tap on redeem code once you do that. So these were some of the most basic functions. Uh, now we are going to learn how we can customize our security settings on Discord. To do that, again at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you want to simply tap on our profile icon. Once we do that, here you have been given multiple options on our account. Now in order to change our password, the first thing what we want to do is simply go to the My Account section at the second option. At the top of the screen, once you go to My Account, here you will be able to see the option called Change Password right at the top at the last option. So you want to go ahead and simply tap on Change Password right over here in order to change your password you will have to enter your current password and if you're not sure whether you have typed in your password correctly on the right hand side you can simply tap on the i icon once you enter your current password at the bottom of the screen you, again you want to go ahead and enter your new password once you do that again at the bottom of the screen you want to simply tap on the blue button which says change password and you will have successfully changed your password on the discord mobile application or your discord account the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can turn on two-factor authentication. Now, two-factor authentication generally means that whenever somebody else tries to log into your account, they cannot simply log in by entering the user ID and password. They will also need an extra layer of security, which is either your email address access or your phone number, whichever you have added. 
So once you go to my account settings here, again you will find the option called two-factor authentication. You want to simply tap on this button called enable two-factor authentication and you can choose to add your password right over here. Once you do that, you can choose whether you want the two-factor authentication to be sent to your email or to your mobile number. If you send it to your mobile number, next up whenever you try your login, it will send an OTP or a one-time password to your mobile number. And once you have the code only, then you will be able to log in or else you will not be able to log into your Discord account without the two-step verification is complete. So we have discussed generally some of the most basic and important features of Discord. Now, let's say that you want to move away from Discord and you want to actually leave Discord and then permanently delete your account. What to do that again, you want to make sure you are on the My Account page. Once you do that, you want to simply scroll down and at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to find two options called Disable Account or Delete Account. If you tap on Disable Account, you are going to see over here from Discord for a certain while and you can log into your account entering your email and your password but in order to do that you will also have to give your server permissions to some other members or you will have to delete the server before trying to delete or disable your account so if you want to disable or deactivate it you can simply tap on the disable button and if you want to permanently delete your account at the bottom you want to simply tap on this red button which says delete account you can tap on delete account and here it says in order to delete again you need to give the server member access to your server so that they will have to customize and they have the admin rights to it and once you do that you need to follow all of the instructions accordingly and follow some of the simple questionnaires in order to go ahead and complete the deletion of your account so we hope we have discussed some of the most important and basic features of the Discord application and that you can begin using this application after you have watched this video. We hope that this guide video was also really helpful to you and if it did help you then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any more questions regarding this then also make sure to leave them down under the comment section below. As always thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.